Good afternoon, this is Brian Split with Allendale for your closing commentary for the week ending Friday, October 14th, 2011. And we did have higher settlements across the board for the grains, really led by the soybean uh, contract again. But uh, December corn up a penny and three quarters today at 640. Uh, that is up 40 cents on the week. And we did have December 12 corn up six and three quarters today at 601 and a half. That is up 33 and a half on the week. Uh, moving over to November soybeans up 13 cents today at 12. 70 that is up a dollar 11 and three quarters on the week while Novi 12 beans up 11 and three quarters on the session at 1251 we're up 76 cents on the week as far as the wheat markets we were also higher on all three exchanges the December Chicago up four and three quarters at 622 and three quarters that is up 15 and a quarter on the week the December Kansas City contract up six and a half cents today at 707 and a half that is up 23 on the week and the only uh, losing grain for the uh, the week would be the Minneapolis wheat uh, December contract Contract was up nine and a quarter today at eight ninety two and a half, but that is down twenty seven cents on the week. As far as what was moving the markets today, we had a general uh, sense of buying uh, with macroeconomic support across the board. Um, we had a weak dollar for for the uh, majority of the session today. Um, strong exports for corn announced this morning of one point three million tons was better than expected. Uh, we did have confirmation earlier in the week that China did purchase corn, and uh, the bulls are excited about the possibility that there could be future sales still on the horizon so uh, we're going to keep our eyes open for that as they do appear to be uh, in the market to continue to replenish reserves um, other than that uh, for wheat we had a, a bearish report on Tuesday but uh, all in all it seems to have affected more uh, spreading between the different exchanges than anything the wheat market is still maintaining uh, lows that we've posted a couple weeks ago and uh, again did finish higher for the week on both the Chicago and, and Kansas City exchanges um, looks like there is some uh, dry weather again returning to the plains after some much needed uh, rain that we got this week and uh, the trade will continue to pay attention to that issue um, the funds are net short wheat while they are long corn and long soybeans so uh, any further gains by the corn and soybean market could uh, cause buy stops to be triggered and uh, that could force the funds to reduce their net short position but uh, other than outside market support that seems to be right now the uh, the most bullish factor for wheat would be these the support from other grains otherwise uh, their own fundamentals do suggest that we should be in a sell the rally type mentality for wheat as far as soybeans go um, you know, we, they led the grains this week. We had a bullish report on Tuesday with the ending stocks coming in much lower than what the trade estimates were looking for. Um, we've seen a lot of spreading off of that report with long bean against short corn and short wheat spreading. We've also seen uh, aggressively buying the uh, November 11 uh, beans against the November 12 beans, so playing the old crop, new crop spread there. Um, now, as far as the fund activity for the week, um, or I'm sorry, for the day, the, the uh, funds did buy approximately 4,000 contracts of corn, about 10,000 contracts of soybeans. And uh, side note, uh, this is uh, every day this week the funds did buy soybeans. So uh, f five sessions in a row of, of uh, strong gains for the beans. And uh, the wheat, the, uh, wheat uh, funds did buy about 3,000 contracts today as well. Uh, now, as we mentioned, we did have more of a macroeconomic day of buying. And uh, we had that type of trade trickle in over into the meat markets, the October hogs that uh, went off the board at noon today, up about 55 in the Globex, that's at 93.55, uh, just about went up and hit its target as far as what the uh, CME lean hog, hog index was at uh, 93.68, I believe. Um, the December up 220 today at 90.22, and uh, really we've got the, the funds buying the December contract, again, because of that discount to the index, and uh, also we've got... Uh, the trade really ignoring a weak cash hog market and, and instead uh, choosing to buy on higher wholesale pork. Uh, as far as the cattle market, some spillover buying into that as well. October up 65 at 121.70. Uh, December up 27 at 123.12. Uh, we did have some of the advances uh, today limited by lower cash trade. Um, and also we've got some questionable wholesale beef demand, and we're going to want to see that kind of catch up with what, what the uh, futures have been doing. But uh, we are still very friendly on the deferred contracts as we go into 2012 uh, based on the expectation of lower cattle numbers due to the drought that we had this summer here. Um, other than that, uh, outside markets are, are very well supported late in the session. The Dow futures up in excess of 100 points, uh, about 120 last
last I looked, around uh, 11,512. In the uh, futures, S&P futures up about 14 and a half at 12, 12 and a half. Uh, we did have uh, U.S. retail sales up 1.1% in September, which is the uh, best gain on a monthly basis in, in uh, seven months. And um, it does have uh, some of the uh, market analysts expecting some better than expected numbers for third quarter GDP. Um, now also, we do have some optimism on the European debt situation, and uh, really it's maybe just a matter of not having any additional bad news. And if uh, no bad news equals good news at that point. So uh, that has everybody coming in and uh, having a more of a risk-on type attitude, willing to put more risk in their profiles. Um, so as we can see, the, the dollar index down about 37 at 76.91. Um, all of the soft markets higher today. And I think, that, again, that's indicative of the macroeconomic buying attitude today. Uh, gold up about $15 at 1683. Silver up roughly 50 cents at 32.17. And uh, crude oil settling $2.57 higher at 86.80. So uh, all around, it was a very positive day in the markets. Uh, we need to stay in tune with uh, what the situation is in Europe and if there's any advancements over the weekend. Again, any uh, dose of bad news could bring this market back down to earth and uh, bring back some some uh, risk-off attitude again after this week's uh, gains in, in many markets. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please give us a call at uh, 1-800-2-MARKET. That's 1-800-262-7538. You can also look us up online at www.allendale-inc.com. And good luck trading to you next week. Thank